I don't want to raise the issue with the Navy as such, but my very simple proposition is National Highway Authority of India Minister Sri Nitin Gadkari ji has sanctioned a flyover very consciously to see that congestion of traffic is removed from Dabolim Junction or Airport Junction up till Pini Nagar. This is the first phase. Second phase from Pini Nagar it will go right up till Verna Junction. Even today traffic gets, goes very fast from Penjim but it gets held up at Verna Junction. So there also the flyover has to come but first phase has been sanctioned. I remember along with collector, along with admiral that time of the navy, with all his commanders, collector along with deputy collector, additional collector, everybody, I, I chaired the meeting. In their own conference room in NAD, Naval Armament Depot conference room, we took a meeting. It was resolved, it is minuted, it, those minutes are there with the collector. And it was agreed that they will move about 5 to 8 meters away. And uh, if you look at the road, which is goes to the airport, only near mm. Naval Armament Depot, it is narrow, always causing accident. They said, we will move back. But their condition was, we don't have funds to move back. Who will build a wall? Our uh, pipeline will be affected, our gutter will be affected, uh, our cable has to be replaced. National Highway at my request, it is minuted. They said, we will bear the full cost of the wall, we will build a new wall behind. We will put the cable, we will put the gutter and all other infrastructure that you are losing, we will do it at our cost. So it was amicably settled. Now it has been tendered, work is about to start as far as National Highway Authority is concerned. And now they say, no, we are willing to give you, but you follow the normal procedure of acquisition of land. So it has become an ego clash. It is actually an encroachment done by Navy of 2000 square meters. So National Highway is saying we will, we will not apply for acquisition because it is our land, you have encroached. We have been kind enough to uh, build the wall and other infrastructure that you are losing at our own cost. So how we will uh, this pay you? Defense means you can uh, do this type mm -hmm. of things. So they said we are willing to do for you. Now they are saying suddenly when work is about to start, no, we will not uh, uh, do unless you follow uh, acquisition, land acquisition formalities. That means they don't want that flyover to come. And what is the flyover? It is not going to impact them. That will go at a height. Mm -hmm. That area will remain open. Only thing, the road will become broader, which should have become long back. Even earlier, when I had chaired a meeting five, six years ago, or seven years ago, uh, I, BRO, when they are building the road, even 20, uh, 15 years ago, they had agreed actually to move back. So now why they are making a fuss? That means they have no civilian interest at heart. I am asking one thing. Second thing is, okay, you wanted to follow the law. You quoted defense, Ministry of Defense guidelines. And you yourself gave permission for three meter to build a house in their own property. People started leaving there. After nine years, you get up and you come and say, no, it is not three years, it is three meters that you are allowed to build. Only you can build one and a half meter. And you are demolishing his uh, top floor. What an inconvenience and how will people live there? This is over no fair tech family. My simple proposition is whatever houses that you have built, how for housing purpose buildings you have built, they are more than eight story. Have you taken permission from any authority? There is no record with MPDA, there is no record with uh, the collector, there is no record with deputy collector or any agency that deals with this thing of any sort of permission. I only want to ask them, tell the public, you are fighting in the court, tell the court also how you have built this high rise building in the path of the flight or whether uh, tomorrow there can be a crash onto these buildings. They have to also answerable, the no? law of the land is for everyone, whether you are for defense or personnel, whether you are a civilian or whether you are an ordinary man, law of the land applies to everyone. So please answer us what permissions you have taken. Okay, if you don't need any permission, being defense, we don't care a damn, we don't need any permission, also tell that to the public. That is my simple proposition. Or will come because there will be intervention done by at the central level by the Honorable Defense Minister. I have spoken to him. But what I am saying here, local, how, how so much of, I mean, there is a negativity. That is what I want.
ಇವತ್ತು ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ದಾಖಲೆ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಐ ಶೋಡ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಬೈ the chairman of national highway authority to the defense secretary he wrote to the i got a copy also i can give you one of the copy because it was shared with me because they want this issue resolved at the earliest this is written by santosh kumar yadav to mr uh, who is the uh, chairman of uh, national uh, highway authority of india to giridhar karamane defense secretary 